Today we'll be taking a look at the 3D Maker Pro Mole Scanner and seeing what results it can produce. The Mole 3D Scanner's technology enables objects to be captured with a 0.05mm accuracy and a 0.1mm resolution. With its excellent tracking there's no need for markers and it has a single capture range of 200 by 100 millimeters and a scanning speed of up to 10 frames a second. It can quickly scan medium sized objects from 15 to 1500 millimeters. All this can be exported as an OBJ, STL or PLY 3D file format. Equipped with optical anti-shake modules, the mole ensures smooth and stable scanning. The mole's compact and ergonomic design makes scanning effortlessly whether it's in handheld or turntable mode. The scanner kit comes neatly packaged in a semi-rigid carry case, which is perfect for storage and transport. Inside there is a motorised turntable base, a mini tripod, a carbon fibre tube that can be used with the tripod or as a handle for the scanner, the scanner data cable, which is approximately 2 metres in length, a micro USB cable for the turntable base, a power supply with various outlet adapters, and these attach and click into place. There's a ball head for the tripod, the mole scanner module which feels well built and has a comfortable grip for handheld use. There's a textured round turntable top which fits on top of the motorised base and a basic quick start guide which is included for information on hardware connection and the software download link. To set up the scanner the mini tripod is screwed into the carbon fibre handle and then the ball head is attached. The scanner has a soft touch black surface which makes it ideal for handheld use. On the bottom of the scanner there is a thread where the tripod is connected for the tabletop scanning. If you need a shorter tripod the carbon fibre tube can be removed and the tripod base is reattached to the ball head. The tripod legs open for it to be placed on a desk all the legs collapse and adjust to a vertical position to make an ergonomic handle grip. The data cable has a small red dot to indicate the plug orientation and this plugs into the bottom of the scanner module. At the other end of the cable there is a barrel jack for connecting the 12 volt power supply and for transferring data there is a USB plug which can be plugged into a PC or Mac computer. The turntable base is motorised and used to rotate a small object. There's a micro USB cable which plugs into the side port. Then the textured turntable top sits on top of the base. The unit is powered from a USB port on a computer or it can also be powered from your own USB phone charger. With the scanner set up, next is to install the software. The latest JM Studio application is used to capture, edit and process the scan data. On the left side there are some basic tools for object viewing, object selection, transform and external mapping. At the top there are two scanning modes to select from. Easy scan which is for handheld scanning 15 to 1500mm sized objects or table scan which is used with the motorised turntable base for scanning 15 to 300mm sized objects. For the first test we're scanning a small coffee cup in the table scan mode. There are a few things to prepare before starting the scan. We need to align the scanner with the turntable, then ensure the distance to the object on the wave monitor is within range. During the preview, we may need to adjust the brightness slider and select the scan type from either geometry or texture. Next, we remove the object and click on Initial. This will run the initialization process for the turntable base. Now we can place the object back onto the turntable and click on Scan. During this time, the scanner will capture many individual points on the surface and map them in a 3D space. At this stage we'll have the top of the model scanned but missing the underside. We can complete a second scan by clicking append. The object is flipped over and scan is clicked to capture the second side. The turntable base will be automatically removed in the next step from the scanned data. With both scans complete we can click on align. The scans will be automatically aligned within the software and parts can also be manually aligned if needed. Once aligned is clicked we have a successfully aligned part. The last step is to process the scan data points into a mesh. We just need two of the scan files selected and click on apply. From here we can clean up any noise particles, repair or simplify the model. 
This model can now be saved as an OBJ, PLY or STL file. Then it is ready to slice and 3D print or use in a CAD software to modify the mesh or create parametric models. The next scan is of a water connection tube. This is a combination of using the scanner in easy scan mode with the tripod and manually turning the turntable base. Then using the scanner in handheld mode to capture more details of the inside of the tube. Scanning speed is fairly quick and easy with steady hand movements. The scanner effortlessly moved from tripod mode to handheld mode and I found the tracking worked really well. With the scan complete, the turntable base plate is selected and removed. From here we can click on process to turn the model into a mesh. There are a few areas around the model that need to be cleaned up and these can be improved by taking more time in the previous steps. The holes are then filled automatically with a repair function and the file is now ready to be exported as an OBJ, PLY or STL. The finished scan file is then imported into CAD software where it can be used to check if a design will fit together or used to make a custom adapter. Overall for a quick test scan, the scanner captured an excellent impressive model of the water tube and it proves to be a versatile and handy tool that helps with CAD design. For the final test scan, we're using a black bottle cage. For darker objects and transparent objects, it's best to use a developer or powder spray, and this will help dull the surface and allow for the 3D scanner to capture the scan data. This special treatment for shiny, metal and transparent objects is required, otherwise they're essentially invisible to the scanner. A light coat of the spray is all that is needed. Then the object is placed on a flat surface and scanned in handheld mode. A total of two scans are completed of the top side and of the underside of the bottle cage to capture all angles. The scans are quickly cleaned up in the software and automatically aligned and then processed into a mesh. There is some noise and artifacts in the model and with more preparation and cleanup these can be improved. The actual model itself is accurate and usable and the model is exported as an OBJ then imported into CAD software where it can be used in a custom design. Once finished the spray can be easily wiped off the original item. Preparation is key to good scans so it's recommended to use a developer or powder spray for improved scan quality. The Mole 3D scanner and software can produce functional scans of parts where you're looking to reverse engineer an item or to design and customise a part. Overall it's an easy to use device that is extremely capable of producing useful and good quality 3D scans.